Joshua Toome, how are you? Thank you. Hey, Joshua, it's been a while. Indeed. A long while. So right now, let's refresh our audience about Student Direct. What is Student Direct? Student Direct is a very large group of people. And I think uh, what we do well is we help people connect and get organized. And now we're multinational in different countries. Oh, can you tell us some of the countries? Well, Africa as a continent, uh, okay. I think. Yeah. Many countries in Australia, mm -hmm. France, UK. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just amazing. Canada, South America. Has wow. Much more, same thing as Africa, a bunch of countries. Yeah, it is. But a lot of people do think of Africa as a country. But you said correctly is many countries Correct. in Africa. I think the resilience to have um, people work towards a goal and to leverage technology has helped us tremendously because you know how we operate in. Oh, it's amazing yes. that I'm like, wait, I'm part of a multinational group. Yes, you are. <laughs> yes, you are. And uh, we're going to be exploring your uh, background a lot about that. Now, you, I remember I was following you on Facebook and we we're talking back and forth, and you said you're starting something called Young Inc. Yeah. I think with Student Direct, it's all about learning and experiencing, and to get the mentors there. 20-somethings and those in their 30s who are experienced in Hollywood and media, anything that's startup-based, we had to do something called Yale Inc. LA. It's all about branding. And with Student Direct and Yale Inc. working together, we are limitless. Now, are they both the same organization or uh, what are the differences They're between two, Student uh, Direct and Young Inc.? They are two different communities okay. with their own brand and you know, their own elements. They're very easy to, 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 ah, to distinguish. Uh, Can you tell us about their uh, dis distinct qualities of each group? Student Direct is more, you know, more high school, college, grade school, middle school. Uh, you wanted me to you know, reach out to middle school and we finally got to that point. And I think uh, Yale Inc. is more, you're a startup, you're a philanthropy, you're an entrepreneur, I mean, that's Yale Inc. LA. You're media, you're entertainment. Whereas Student Direct is more, school, education, apply learning. So what you're saying is Student Direct is more like getting kids involved and in learning the process of mm -hmm. going into media, being educated, what is media, and uh, learning to get involved with things Correct. around the community, is it, you say? I think the best way to describe it is yin and yang. So Student Direct is one side of the solution, mm -hmm. and Yale Inc. is the other. And they work well together, and they complement each other, where Young Inc. wants to work with students, and students want to work with people who can mentor. So Young Inc. is more like students applying out of school the principles of what mm -hmm. they learn in Student Direct? Correct. So if you're part of Young Inc. as a student, you're doing much more challenging projects, which we'll see later on uh, through the interview. And if you are Young Inc. and working with students, you're going to see the students who want to learn. And, and of course, students in Student Direct, they want to do volunteer work. They want to uh, get their school credits. And, and um, it's amazing. I mean, both communities are amazing, and I'm glad to be part. I think the common ground is I'm part of both. And, and, uh, that I think, is amazing. I think that does show, but there's two, two, two um, different communities. Yes, so what I'm trying to find out is that Young Inc. is more like people out of school, who've done it in school, who are now applying the principles, let's say, as an entrepreneur. Correct. Or being part of community leadership. Correct. Connecting with schools to encourage, let's say, the students who are presently in Student Inc. to Correct. make the transition in a later time. Exactly. Uh huh. Now I get it. Now, and we have a group called Old Inc. LA when you get past Young Inc. How old is that? You gotta be 40. Now, wait, 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 whoa, whoa. What's the name of that? Group? Old Inc. LA. Old Inc. Well, you know that's definitely Yeah, yeah. Now. So we have Student Direct, you know, start them young, young Inc. Yes. Get them more engaged. And then once they get past that scenario, so go you, Old Inc. LA. Now, wait, I got an issue with that. <laughs> Shouldn't there be a middle Inc.? <laughs> You're gonna I, I be there I, one day, pal. So I you didn't know. think about that. I apologize. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. <laughs> okay. We're going to find out real quick what Chitun Group is. The Chitun Group is, um, I have an ego, so of course I want to use my family's name. Mm -hmm. I'm rebellious, and uh, it is my private company that deals with what I do, uh, with my investments, which is, and my philanthropy, which is simply education, arts, youth, displacement, uh, any group that's trying to innovate, 
sustainable solutions and of course uh, humanitarian issues and I think I've been very blessed. Great, you have a clip called uh, Real World Education. What's that about? Uh, I was at the studios right across the College of Glendale talking to students about, you know, taking real applications and focusing on the real problem, not, you know, not curriculum, just the real problems. Okay, let's look at that clip. This photo shoot was an example to people I'm going to talk to tomorrow that the school doesn't work and this works better. Getting kids and students and any age group chance to work together and create something and learn from each other. Um, I had a chance, someone gave me hundred thousand dollars to budget, and I had that chance. So for a business student, you know, most um, going to school for business, you'll get a chance to spend a hundred grand. Yeah, everything you do is in theory, it's all in books. It's very competitive. So this nonprofit gave me a hundred grand to spend and let me create an internship program, let me do the volunteer, let me do a lot of things hands on and I could have failed to be given that chance. And that was my best learning experience. So I'm trying to do the same thing too at work by giving multiple students a chance to learn and grow, and also make mistakes. The school says don't make mistakes. Mm -hmm. If you make mistakes, you miss four points. Four points means you have a A minus. Six points means you have a B. Seven points means you have a C, that's boy. But yet no one can write a report or communicate or send me a, that makes no sense to me. It's okay to make mistakes as long as you communicate. It's okay to make mistakes as long as you learn. If you don't make mistakes, you're not being ambitious enough. Right. Video game. Mm. Everything we do is almost a video game. Why in a video game you can, learn, you, can, you can do what you want to do, right? Don't you learn more through a video game? But yet, yeah. video game can't be an actual course. You can't. In a video game, you learn about 